Hey guys, welcome to this episode. I'm your guide, Justin Arezio, and today we're gonna look at how to create a graph within a dashboard. Let's jump right into it. So today we're going to be learning about graphs within a dashboard and in a dashboard it can be pretty easy to navigate and change things but when it comes to graphs it can sometimes be a little daunting to actually create the graph itself in other words to pull data from a metric sheet to create the graph that you want so today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and if you haven't yet already I've created a free lesson absolutely free the link is in the bio below. Please click on that. It's 45 minutes of just raw smart sheet content. And uh, please subscribe to this channel and let's dive right into this. All right, so here we have our dashboard with some graphs already made. And let's go ahead and create a new graph. And before we can do that, we first must be able to pull from a metric sheet. That, uh, that is how a graph is made, is it's, it's pulling information from a metric sheet. So you gotta have a metric sheet made first. And so in this tab over here, we have a metric sheet. This is something that it could look like. And I'm gonna pull two graphs from this metric sheet. One graph from this information based on the month, broken down by month, we're gonna make a line graph. And then from this information here, we're gonna make another graph. We're gonna make a pie, a pie graph, or what we call a pie chart. And let's go back to our dashboard here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click edit, and then edit dashboard. So now it's in edit mode. Then we'll click edit again, and then add widget. And another way you can go to this information is over here to the plus sign to the right, you click it, and then you have the same widgets right here. So we're gonna click chart, and it creates a placeholder here for us. We're gonna click add data, and then we're gonna look for our metric sheet. We're gonna look for it in the search box here. So our metric sheet is called metric sheet one, two, three. So we'll just type in metric sheet one, two, three click search and there it is click on it and it will pull up the data right here for us to look at and the first graph we're going to do is a line graph as I mentioned before uh, broken up by month and really the only data that we really need is the months January through December and then just the the numbers for sales one, two, one, one, two, four, two, four, blah, blah, blah. But in order to grab this information, we need to highlight everything, even the things that are in between. So I'm gonna click in January, click and drag, hold my mouse button down. I'm gonna highlight all this information. Now again, again, we don't need this information in the middle. We just need whatever data you're looking for. You remember, you always have to have at least two points of data. So we have the months and we have the number of sales won. Now you can have more than two points of data, but you have to have at least two points of data. And in order to do that, you have to highlight um, both of both sets of data at the same time, even if that means including stuff in between that you don't want. And so we've highlighted our information. Now we're gonna click okay. And it automatically tries to build it out the best that it thinks it wants, um, the best that it thinks that we are desiring, but we're gonna change this up a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, and I don't want all the columns chosen. I just want the primary column and the sales one column, just those two columns. Then I'm gonna click out of it, and then here you can uh, use column names and category labels and use the first column as a series. That way you have the, the months down here. And then you can actually uh, transpose this. You can switch the rows in the columns, but I don't wanna do that because it's really ugly. <clears throat> now next here, um, you can choose all the different graphs. You got the standard line graph, smooth line graph, 
step the line graph, bars to the left, stacked bars, and that's if you have more than two points of data. We have the normal columns, stack columns again, it will show up different stacks if you have two different point or more than two different points of information. Then we have the pie, the donut, and last but not least, the scatter. So let's go ahead and turn this into a a line, <clears throat> a line graph, and then title. You can change the title right in here, or you can change it in here for title. We'll call this graph sample, and you can center it. You can change the fonts. Give a black. Make the background blue and bold anyway so on and so forth even the the font font style itself next is horizontal axis and that is going to be this axis right here horizontal and you can give it a title let's call it months because the horizontal axis represents the months and again you can change the font with this and you can also do the the tick marks some people may find that useful Next is the vertical axis, that's this axis right here. And let's give that a name, we'll say. Number of sales one. And you can show tick marks there as well. And you can scale the data. So if you got a graph with a bunch of numbers, this may come in handy, but we don't need to use it for this. And then series, this is where you can actually change the color of your line. Um, let's go ahead and make it, let's make it, we'll do peach. And then we can even fill the line. And then you can have it where it shows the values at each point, if you want. And then the legend, so right now the legend is to the right. You can actually have it at the bottom. You can have it to the left, so on and so forth. You can even have no legend at all. And then last but not least, you have the widget behavior. Now the widget behavior um, means that when someone is looking at the dashboard, they can, when they click on the graph, it can either take them to the source data or you can have it take it to whatever you want them to take it to. You can have it take it to this sheet right here. You can even have it sent to a URL link. Maybe it gets sent to a, a website outside of Smartsheet or any URL outside of Smartsheet. The sky's the limit. You can, when they click on this, you can virtually have them take it, take the person wherever you want um, to take that person to. All right, so we made a line graph. Now let's go ahead and click Save so it stays in there. And there it is. Now let's go ahead and make a pie graph. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this, dash, this uh, graph. And we'll go ahead and make a pie graph now. This time I'm going to add it from this side. Click on chart. Click add data. Metric sheet. Now we're going to pull information from here. And the reason it doesn't like that is because it's using contact names and the uh, primary column is not being used. So let's go ahead and change that. refresh this and one thing to consider is when you're doing a pie graph um, it will only work if there are only two points of data now a line graph as I mentioned before can have more than two points of data but a pie graph can only have two points of data data all right here we 
we go. Again, we're going to highlight everything that we want. Even if there's nothing in the middle, we're going to have to do that. Highlight what we want to use for our points. And then to primary column and sales one. And then we're going to change this to a pie graph. And maybe I want to do a donut. Let's do a donut. And what's cool about this is if we go down to pie chart and series, See, now you get the option to change the color of each person. And what's really cool is you can even display it as a semicircle, which I, I personally like. Now, I don't want this showing as percentage. I want it to show it as amount. So let's click amount. And let's change this. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do this. Legend, we'll put at the bottom, the title, put that in center, and then we'll go with that. And that is how you make a pie graph or a pie chart or a half moon, half semicircle or semicircle, excuse me, chart. And that is it for today. All right, you guys, take care.